Dre is coming through the stereo. I know she Hey guys, it's Angie. I'm here today to um, do my tag video. And look, look here. April, look you what I have. Hi, honey. That's, that's baby. That's my little tiger cat that walked up to my door one day and I took him in. I've rescued all my animals. Got three, two cats and one dog. The cats are Pumpkin, Pumpkin, and Baby, and my dog's name is Haley. I'll introduce you to them some other day. You guys are probably wondering why I am wearing sunglasses, and that just happens to be because I um, threw on some lipstick and sunglasses because I really didn't have time to put on makeup. Um, before I did this video, but I had to do this video right now, so I'm just a dork, and I don't, um, I mean, I'll show you, look how, I mean, I look like I have some kind of disease, because I literally don't even have any face makeup on, so I'll put those back on right now, <laughs> okay, anyways, hi April, thank you for tagging me, love, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this, rock it out, um, there are five questions to this tag, and the first question is, what is your favorite song? And my favorite song happens to be Mercy by Duffy. It's so, like, I don't know, it's different. I really like it. It's awesome. I did my first tutorial to this song, and it's just a really good song for me. That I pretty much listen to all kinds of music. I'm not... One of those people that's like, oh, I only listen to this or I only listen to that. I pretty much listen to everything. I'm not big on country. Um, going on to the second question. Second question is my current fear. And April, I just wanted to comment on your fear. Um, I actually have gone through the same thing. I've had um, three abnormal paps and they did a biopsy and when they got the test back from the biopsy they said that everything was good to go the first time the second time and the third time scared to go back for my fourth time but i just want to let you know honey i am praying for you um my current fear actually is i was laid off not too long ago um and our company just lost our our major um account holder which was PNG and we lost them and when we lost PNG they pretty much laid everybody off. Uh, my biggest fear right now is not bouncing back from being laid off. Um, I do have another job. I went back to serving for a little bit. Um, don't really want to serve forever. Hate sermon. <laughs> I'd love to do something with makeup. Maybe I'll take it this right, this opportunity right now to go to school or do something with myself. But I'll tell you, I don't want to serve, and I'm really worried about not being able to bounce back because I did go a while without money. I mean, the little severance they gave me really didn't do much for me. So, you know, so that's my fear right now, not being able to bounce back from being laid off. Um, and the next question is someone that I am thankful for on YouTube. And this may sound kind of corny, but I really am thankful for all gurus on YouTube. I learned so much from everyone on YouTube. I mean, I have literally taken my art and my skill and just gone from being right here to being like up here with my skills with makeup just from watching people do things. I mean, I mean, amazing. I'm just amazed at how wonderful everyone is I mean you're all just so amazing and I've named you before on here so you all know who you are um, but if I could just pick one person that I personally am thankful for that would actually be you April um, I think you're just a doll I absolutely adore you I think you're one of the realest down-to-earth coolest women on YouTube um, I love all your looks I enjoy talking to you I think you're a sweetheart. You really remind me of my best friend from, you know, growing up um, with the tattoos and stuff. She's got the big tattoo going up her back of one of those types of um, fairies that, um, I don't know what kind of fairy they are, but they, they rock. So, um, 
but yeah, you remind me a lot of her, and I just think you're super sweet, and I, like, I've met, um, left you an email before that when I come to your neighborhood, I would definitely like to meet you. I think you are just awesome. Your look's awesome. You're sweet from the heart, you know. I even have my fiancé watching your videos, and, um, it just, I, I just really enjoy, I enjoy you a lot, so, um, that's who I really look up to or who I am grateful for. I'm actually grateful for you two for meeting you, April, because I think you're just such an awesome person. Um, a subscriber question, and you can't really tell right now, but I think you can. Right now it's like frizzy and nasty, but people ask me all the time if my hair is natural. Um, yes, my hair is naturally curly. It's a big blob of mess right now, but it's 100% natural. I've had it since I was born. And I used to hate it, but I've learned to like it because as you get older and you grow up, you learn how to do things with it. The problem with being young is you don't know what the heck to do with it, so you just wish it was straight so you could throw in a ponytail, you know, and it's not like you can just brush it out and it's good to go. Uh, um, so, yes, my hair is naturally curly, and yes, I do love it now. I used to hate it. And moving on to the fifth and final question, and that is one random fact. Now... I don't know if this, I mean, I didn't know how deep to delve into the random fact thing, but something being a girl, um, maybe catch, so it, this may catch some of you by surprise, but I'm really into, um, like fight, like UFC, um, Ultimate Fighting Championship, and I used to be really big into the, like, wrestling and stuff like that, and it's all because of my fiancé, he likes UFC, um, a lot, and we're actually going tonight to watch, um, the pay-per-view, the, uh, I forget who's fighting tonight, but it's like a big fight, um, yeah, we're going to see the pay-per-view, uh, and that's going to be exciting, so that's pretty much my random fact. I don't know how exciting that is for you guys. I could go on all day with random facts about myself. Um, one random fact about myself is that I have a humongous scar. I was born with, um, I was born with a tumor. Uh, it was called a cystic hygroma. And, um, it's called a cystic hygroma, and it was basically a tumor filled with water and blood. It was basically like being born with an extra body. And um, I don't have pictures of from when I was a baby, um, but they removed it right away. I did almost pass away. I had surgery um, three days old, and I was born November 29th, and I did not go home until December 25th, Christmas Day. Actually, it was like late Christmas Eve, so it was like a Christmas present to my family. Sorry, I do this a lot. <laughs> I was like a Christmas present to my family, so they say. Blessed with this, yeah. Um, but I did have the surgery. It went away, and when I was 16 years old, I had to have another surgery because I started getting what they call hemangiomas, developing on the incision line of my side. Um... And, uh, pretty much my scar goes, I had the surgery again, they, they took off what they could, but honestly, you guys have no idea. But maybe one day I'll get up the guts to show everybody, but. So guys, that's the video. Um, thank you, April, for tagging me. Um, and I will talk to you guys later.